all this thing's all together. I've been looking at buying a parts washer for the last couple weeks. I was trying to find one used to kind of save some money, but all the used ones I found were uh, super dirty. I just didn't feel like dealing with them. So I bought this one from Harbor Freight today. Um, probably 160 bucks into it maybe, uh, if that. Uh, they didn't have any of their degreaser or solvent in store, so I bought Oil Eater from uh, Tractor Supply. Uh, it's diluted like probably two to one. Uh, but I bought this to clean up some of the parts for the M52 for the TI. Uh, the oil pan, I took them to the car wash, pressure washed them, cleaned them, but they're just not as clean as I'd like them to be. So figured I can clean some of those parts in here. And this thing can be used all the time for bike parts that I work on and just engine parts and stuff. So it will definitely come in handy. Uh, I also mounted it to a moving dolly from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, for the 12 bucks that it was that way I can move this thing right now I just kind of have it out in the middle of my garage But I can roll it back in my storage room then and it's not in my way because I'm not going to use it a ton But I will use it. So I'm going to grab the oil filter housing from the TI and uh, give it a shot and see how it cleans up So like I said, this is the oil filter housing uh, that I removed off the M52 and uh, took it to the car wash, do some aluminum cleaner, sprayed it off, uh, but it's just not super clean. Uh, I don't want the thing to be spotless, I'm not going to spend a ton of time, but I want it to be cleaner than it is. Same with the oil pan, uh, and probably any other brackets and stuff that I encounter now as I go to put it back together. So, let's see how clean this thing will come with this parts cleaner. Well, it's not really going to look like anything on camera uh, and because I didn't really take any close-ups of it but the uh, oil filter housing it's definitely much cleaner than it was um, parts cleaner does exactly what I needed it to so uh, I'll wipe this down on more blow it out with air uh, before I actually put it on the car but I got the main pieces a lot of this is hidden once it's bolted on the car uh, alternator bolts on this power steering pump uh, so I tried to really focus on and clean mainly the top of the oil filter housing where the filter goes in that you see when it's on the engine but it's just not as grimy as it was and uh, cleaned up good enough for me uh, this one was pretty dirty so if you had a, a cleaner one probably clean up a lot better but parts washer did pretty good I still have the oil pan to do and like I said any other brackets and, and uh, things I encounter as I go through the engine but I have to order a few things for the engine still uh, just so I can start getting it all put together I'm gonna wire wheel it paint it and then uh, can pretty much drop it back in the car. We'll have to pressure wash the engine bay of the car. But I took a look at my parts car the other day and uh, the power steering rack in that car isn't leaking. Just the reservoir itself, the hose that goes on there is. So I'll order a new reservoir, I'll order that low pressure uh, hose and then swap racks from one to the other uh, because the rack in the car now is pretty shot. Uh, it leaks onto the floor. Uh, so that's a wrap for this. Like I said, I gotta get moving on some things on the engine and then Start getting this thing buttoned up.